Hey you two, welcome back. So uh, today I'm going to unbox uh, this. This one is the 2023 upgraded uh, auto fix. Model is uh, 7770. It is a full system OBD2 uh, scanner for a Mercedes uh, Benz Sprinter and a smart car. It's a diagnostic uh, scan tool with a battery registration, ABS uh, bleed. OIO, EPB, BMS, ETCS, SAS, AD uh, Blue, Reset uh, Car Co uh, Reader. By the way, I'd like to give this shout out to uh, Marisa from their marketing team for uh, sending me this. And uh, this also uh, supports a full OBD2 function for all cars after uh, 1996. You could recall, erase code. And then uh, I am uh, readiness uh, status, so you know if your car is going to pass a uh, smart check or not. And uh, data uh, stream, evap uh, system, turn off uh, malfunction indicator light, or if you have a check engine light. And uh, DTC uh, lookup, system uh, status, and uh, vehicle information. So yeah, let's go ahead and then, uh, open this up, and uh, be sure to uh, check out the link that's going to show within the description. And uh, this one support up to uh, 10 uh, different uh, languages. So yeah, let's go and uh, open this up. So here's the product description right here. And this is the unit AutoFix uh, 770 Professional uh, Scanner. So this one shows you uh, the professional uh, tool for uh, bands, vehicles. They also have that for Volvos or uh, JLR vehicles. And uh, the product is uh, made in China. They come with the user uh, menu right here. And this one has a rocked uh, TPU uh, material. It's a rubberized uh, TPU. So it protects you from uh, impact resistance. And it also comes with this uh, USB uh, Type A to a micro USB uh, data uh, cable. So you could uh, do the live uh, update with this uh, cable com and then uh, connecting to your uh, computer. Here's the OBD2 uh, port. You could connect it to your vehicle. So yeah, let's go out there and then uh, check it out. And uh, put on the scanner on the vehicle. Let me show you guys. Alright, so we're inside this uh, Mercedes uh, 2019 uh, GLA. So I'm going to uh, park this uh, AutoFix 770 in and then uh, do some tests. And then the plug should be under here. This one is under the this uh, red 
latch right here, and uh, here's a connector. All right, so let's go through the menu real quick. So if you have a generic uh, vehicle, the OPD2 is for the regular uh, vehicle. So you're gonna press uh, OK, and it's automatically uh, enter the system and read all the codes. Oh, let me start the car. So yeah, I started the engine already. So you gotta start the engine and then um, press OK again. And then there you go. So it says uh, readiness. Yes, one. And then uh, now apply is nine. Data stream support. So over here we can read the code. There's an EC1. There's so many ECU on this uh, vehicle. So this one has a no faulty code. Okay, erase the code and then uh, I am at uh, readiness. So it shows uh, all the misfire monitor for your system and everything like that. Evap. So you go through all those uh, seven ECUs, and then uh, data stream. That's like a light data. You can view all or uh, select individual uh, items. Let's go ahead and view all, and then it show you all the informations over here for the live uh, data, up to uh, thirty-seven. And then uh, there's an evap uh, system test. I don't think uh, this one uh, it has a feature. And the vehicle information, it will show you all the VIN number and everything. Okay. Let's go back. Press OK to go back. And then for Mercedes Benz, for the full function, you gotta go here. Press OK. For, and then you can select the uh, Benz, uh, Sprinter, or uh, Smart. This is a uh, Benz automatic search, or you can do it manually. And it shows the GLC 350E. Formatic, off-road, press OK. It's an engine fuel type diesel. So we just select the health report. It says a PTCU drivetrain, one problem. I'm not sure what's that about. So that was uh, eight, nine percent. Gonna take up to 100% to reorder problem or if they are okay or not. So this one has a 360 degree uh, camera. TPMS, the uh, BB, BMS, uh, they are okay. So if there's an error, you could uh, clear it or uh, fix the problem and then clear it. Wow, so it, show, it shows the left lamp, there's a problem. Instrument cluster, sound system, they're all good.
Okay, uh, let me uh, go back. So drive train is a problem. Let me check. It's fucking B, okay, like, you know, like, you know, the bala. In December, man. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Let's see what's wrong with the air condition. It says the uh, refrigerant pressure sensor has a, a malfunction. My, like a... You know, air condition. This one's the audio problem or command. Let me check and see what's wrong with it. Go down and read the code. Specify and actual configuration of the most component are different. Go back. Special for Mercedes. Just for Mercedes, yeah. Mm -hmm. mm. That's why I want to test it out. Do you want to do it? 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 Let me see what's this collision. You have hit? Huh? You have hit? There is a warning from the control unit collision prevention assist. Hmm. Is there anything on? Tomorrow. Warning from the control unit collision prevention assist. So the last one is the PTCU drive train and check it out what's wrong with this one. Then read the code. Communication with the air condition has a malfunction. The message is missing. So I'm gonna exit out, press OK. So right here you could do like a oil reset. For Mercedes. So if you change the oil, you need to reset it. Uh, you can also use this uh, machine to clear out. And if you want to reset it, just uh, press OK to continue. I'm going to escape. And uh, right here, you can use the emergency power brake uh, reset in case you change your uh, brake pads. The chip in the cassette is not popped, so I no problem. Why does it not pop? Yeah. This is, should be pop okay, actually. That's why sometimes when they, they do the inspection, right? Mm -hmm. They read about this. Oh, they they ask me about can you know, They said they want to kind of signal you know, like pop out. I say no. You want to go pop out? Can you know? Oh, they don't to to you. Can you take care? Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. You see the battery check. So right here you can uh, check the battery uh, level with the yeah, car is off and the, with on. When I when I can like know, hmm. you know I mean the battery is off. You know, automatic it off for me. So right here is the battery uh, management system reset. Yeah, we'll send you this. I'll go get more. Okay. All right. Thanks. So unfortunately, this one does not support this uh, vehicle. So I'll press escape. ETC uh, reset. Electronic auto control. Anyway, this car is not supported either. And then a uh, tool setup. Right here, you can change uh, different uh, languages over here. It support up to uh, 10.
And then you can turn the beeping uh, off. Right now it's on. I'm gonna leave it on. And then the instruction display or startup. Unit of uh, measurement. I need to change the imperial because uh, the, it's supposed to be on degree uh, Celsius on the original initial setting. So I'm gonna change to uh, Fahrenheit. And then the skin type. It has uh, two skin type. Uh, sky gray and then uh, gem blue. So this one is a gem blue. I'm gonna change back to sky gray. And then you can send the feedback to the company if there's a question or whatever. And then a uh, device uh, information. Oh, there you go. Anyway, hopefully you guys uh, give a thumbs up and then uh, like the video. Please uh, be sure to uh, hit that subscribe button, turn on that bell for notification or drop any other comments down below. And be sure to uh, check out the link that's going to show in the description so you could uh, check them out. Anyway, I'll see you guys on the next uh, video like always. Peace.